Don't forget the hats feed the ducks. And all the ducks that we raised this year were donated to the local food banks. If you want to help out, 50ducksonhottub.com. Below the video, there's a link. You can make monthly donations. You can make a one-time donation. Or you can pick yourself up one of these t-shirts and support the duck adventure. Give to charity this year. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the Duck Adventure for August the 3rd. Look at this little sleepy dog. One more night, Doug. Look, he's so mad at me, he won't even get up. It was hard getting into the back room again last night. He, uh, um, he thinks he's in trouble. Poor guy. Dougie. Doug, you can get up, you know. Dog. You're making me pay for this, aren't you? You're ignoring me. Dougie, come on. Let's get up. Oh, Doug, good morning. One more night, Doug. I talked to the vet last night, and tomorrow at 11 a.m., he wants to take it out. So that means he can come into the house at night. The dripping will have stopped. Hey, okay. I know, little dog. Here, let's go outside for a pee. Come on, Doug. You don't even want to go out for a pee? Come on. <laughs> you, look at this. You know, you're really making me pay, aren't you? Dog. Come on. Come on, Doug. One more night. Come on. Let's go on. Come on, Doug. Oh, it's raining. Just a slight mist. It was so funny, guys. I uh, I slept in. It's about 6:30, and uh, and I, I just realized too. I was uh, looking at the calendar to confirm the date. Today's a holiday. Didn't even realize that. Um, the ducks. Uh, they could see me get out of bed. They they watched my bedroom window because I was laying in bed. And it was quiet as could be. And as soon as I got up and I started walking around my bedroom, uh, bang, the ducks started quacking. Well, was I, I couldn't believe it. I said, now the ducks are stalking me. All right, well, as soon as Doug gets back here, uh, I'll put him back in the house and then we'll let the ducks out. And then we're going to start our day here. Look at this dog. He knows uh, it's raining now. It just started to uh, dr drizzle. So he uh, does want to come outside. You're not coming out anyways, Doug, because you're not allowed to run yet. It's starting to drizzle, guys. So I'm going to make this as quick as possible. I didn't. Uh, I didn't charge my pivot heads. They're stone dead. So I've got to uh, make this quick. Oh, plus yesterday, guys, another porcupine quill came out of Doug's face. I was giving him some love and rubbing him, and uh, he got me uh, in the side of the face, and I started feeling. And right out of the side of his uh, top of his snout, it was uh, a quill came out, and it was a small, little, tiny black one, exactly like a juvenile porcupine. Uh, like it was not even uh, maybe three quarters of an inch, you know, five eighths of an inch in size, and it was coming out. Like I got pulled it out of my teeth is once I felt it, but uh, it, it, like he got into he he must have found a I mean, he must have he did he found a small uh, young juvenile and he must have bit down on it. That's the only thing uh, you know that he it's the only thing that makes any sense. The fact that I'm pulling out all these that, that you know that I that I have pulled out all of these small little quills. All right, so the ducks went out, and uh, it's starting to rain, so I better hurry up. Okay, I stand 
pinned under the tree here while it's misting. The rain's coming down just in a slight mist here. The little guys. Last night, I I, um, I thought I was going to have to uh, separate the ducks here really soon. And I found a little secret last night to get all the little ones into the barn. Um, they all went around the side of the barn, so I opened the side door of the barn. And they all went in for me. It was so easy to put them in the barn. So it's basically any day now, uh, if it gets, you know, if I can't get them into the barn, then uh, it doesn't matter. We'll, we'll take down the barrier because, uh, well, basically they're uh, 20, 24 days old now, I think. I think it's 24. So from this point on, they don't need to uh, be separated and be on baby food. But. Okay, guys, so this is as close as I can get to the swamp. I'm staying under the canopy of the tree. I totally uh, lost uh, my track of time and dates here when I looked at the uh, calendar I saw that it was a holiday. I, uh, I had plans of going to town today and everything's closed. I'm pretty sure everything's closed. Well, here they come. They're just like last year's flock. You know, they go down to the lake, and about uh, oh, it's about one o'clock, two o'clock, they come back and they start stripping the feeder. Okay, the mosquitoes have just found me. Hey, look at that! They're really gone. Oh, boys. Okay, lots of mosquitoes just found me, guys. I got to start moving here. It's starting to rain, so I'm going to uh, come out here and I'll go as long as I can. Standing on one spot, uh, especially underneath the uh, the cedar tree, the worst place to stand if you don't want to get uh, eaten alive by mosquitoes. These, the, uh, the inside of the cedar tree is completely, completely full of uh, mosquitoes. That's where they all hang out. Let's look at them going. So it's supposed to rain here the next three days, is what the forecast is. It started raining last night. Let's look at them go. <laughs> But it's about uh, it's about eleven between eleven and one. They uh, they all of a sudden they just started coming back home, just like last year's flock. And once their foraging skills get better, they'll stay out longer and longer. The little ones are getting closer. I just look in here. They're not going uh, veering far off to the right. They're, they're getting closer to the mouth of the creek. There they are. That's where the little ones are all headed. Where's the little go? This is so awesome. I can't wait for Doug to get back to work, guys. Tomorrow when that gets removed. Basically, it'd be like maybe two, maybe three days of rest to let the incision finish healing, and then Doug can get back at it. Okay, it's starting to rain a little too much here. I'm getting bigger drops. Okay, there's like maybe, maybe 25 ducks, 20 ducks left in the yard, and they're headed down too. The only ducks that seem to hang around the yard are the Muscovies, and not even all of them, just some of them. Uh, washing Doug's uh, uh, wound here or I guess uh, the surgical incision in, in his tube and I got to show you guys he's just uh, 
he's not liking it. He hates it every time I do this. Oh, Dougies. Let's show everybody your wound here. Look at that. It looks so nasty. And he just hates me going anywhere near him. Okay, Doug, relax. <laughs> oh, Doug, you look so sweet. You look like a little beaten child. Oh. I'm sorry I keep using that analogy, guys, but he's just like, it's just a, it's such a submissive little dog when he's like this. Oh, Doug, you're a baby. All right, I gotta give uh, this a uh, peroxide rinse on the other side so it stays open and drips and uh, give it a little rinse with water. And then we're gonna go outside and Doug's going to go have a little bit of a run, not much though, and I gotta get back to work. It looks so nasty. Well, oh, I'm gonna be so glad when this is over, Doug. And you are too, aren't you? Oh, you're such a little baby. Oh, I love you, little dog. You know, I, I really uh, hate when Doug acts like that. He, uh, you know, it's almost like he, I'm beating him, which I'm not, you know, but it's the sting of the, uh, the hydrogen, pro hydrogen peroxide that I'm putting on that tube wound there so that it stays open and it drips. Uh, he can't get his head around why it, uh, why it stings, so he gets, you know, a ball like I'm beating him and I'm not. It bothers me, guys. I, uh, I don't like when he acts like that. But a bunch of ducks came back early. It's only about 11 o'clock, so I don't know why they're back. It's been raining off and on all morning. Now, I don't see any ducks. Oh, Doug must be coming around the corner. Yep, there he is. Okay, no Doug, no running. Doug, Doug, come here. All right, guys, I gotta put Doug in the back here. He's not allowed to run around the yard. <laughs> but he, he quickly got back to himself. Come on, Doug. He's not allowed to run around. The vet told me, you know, the, you know, absolutely no running with that in his neck until he gets stitched up tomorrow. Hopefully the vet will tell me that, you know, a couple days and he'll be back to normal. Well, semi back to normal, he's still, you know, he's still healing from the surgery. Now, these little guys that came back, there's none down at the creek. So they must be all down at the lake swimming around. I'm going to do a bunch of work now, guys, and I'm hopefully it uh, holds off and raining. It looks like the sky is finally breaking up. And I'm going to uh, do some pen cleaning here. I've got to uh, clean the, uh, the buildings out and take down the dividers. Well, the ducks are coming home for a mid-afternoon snack here. It's about uh, one o'clock now. I've been working around outside here getting things uh, taken care of and I looked up and uh, they were there. They just appeared. I guess they've come back to make a dent in the feeder. But I, I looked down the lake and I couldn't believe it because earlier there was nothing on the lake. This group is right on the other side, guys. Unbelievable. I can't believe how far away they are. That's 350 zoom to get that. That's unbelievable. They're, that's the farthest they've gone yet. I know I'm supposed to be working, but hey, it's the duck adventure. We can take breaks. I'm going down to see uh, which ducks are uh, at the far end here. And yes, I did bring the shotgun just in case. You know something that's really strange, guys, is the uh, the blue herring, you know, hangs around with the ducks. Right now, he's back, he's back there. Any minute, he should take off here. I couldn't believe it. I saw his big, uh, you know, grayish blue wings just flop. There he is. He seems to hang around with the ducks. He's hard to keep zoomed in here. Man, they're a skittish bird. I can just imagine, uh, you know, how many people shoot at them. But our ducks are down here. All right, I'm gonna try to get closer here. Hello, ducks! I can't believe you. And you're, well, they're not really young ones. Well. They look like the ones that were born in June. There must be some good uh, food here. It's got these, oh yeah, look at them. They're drilling like crazy down here. High quality weeds. Oh, they've been down here for a while, guys. <laughs> 
they've got this whole area to pack down. I don't believe this. It looks like uh, about 25, 30 ducks. Unbelievable. I can't believe how far away from home they are. You know, what's really strange is these guys are down here, but the rest of the ducks are, you know, either sitting at the bottom of the yard in the creek there, uh, you know, the bottom of the swamp, uh, or they're in the yard. These guys obviously prefer, uh, you know, foraging for their own food. Waiting for these guys to go down to the other end of the lake, uh, you know, where out of my sight where I can't even see them. Which, by the way, guys, right here, this I'll give you a, a little view here. Right here, the, I zoomed in too far for you there. Um, that right there is the beaver dam that made this whole lake right there. If that beaver dam was gone, which is pretty hard to believe is a beaver dam because it's so grown up now. There's trees and everything. The thing is about, uh, it's, uh, it's about 30 feet wide on the top of it. Uh, it's actually quite tall. On the, uh, the back side, it's got about a 15, 18 foot drop. And that's what holds all the water back uh, in this lake. If that was gone, uh, there would be no lake. So the uh, the beavers built that back in the late 30s from what I've uh, found out. And uh, they turned this whole area into a lake. Or just a big giant swamp really. But Because uh, my neighbor was telling me back uh, when she was a kid and she's like 80. So, you know, she's talking about, uh, you know, when they were very, very young. Uh, this they used to um, um, hay this. This this used to actually be a, a field of uh, they call it beaver grass, and they actually used to hay it for the or bale it for the uh, cattle. Well, I guess back then they would have just cut it and piled it in a wagon and brought it back to the uh, farm. But so it was like uh, the late 30s. Uh, well, she's actually probably been there 90s. So late 30s, early 40s, that beaver uh, built the dam. Well, they're going farther away, and they're going down where I can't get near them. Anti-social ducks. All right, I'm going to go back to work. I, I wanted to see who was down here, and I have now uh, satisfied my curiosity. I just came out of the bush uh, from the lake, and I was walking across the lawn, and I, I got thinking to myself, I haven't seen a chipmunk in days. Actually, I think I haven't seen a chipmunk since I murdered them all last week, which is a really good thing. Hey, guys. Second day egg recon, I got one egg, which I think, uh, if I'm going backwards here on my days, I think Saturday I got five eggs. So this is a hit-and-miss uh, egg recon right now. Well, that took a lot longer than I thought. Um, I got both buildings cleaned out and I got handicapped duck, which I'm 99% sure, guys, she's uh, blind. Uh, because uh, you can go right up to her. She has no clue that you're even near her until you touch her. So I'll give you a, I'll just give you a demonstration. Okay, she heard me, so she's got her head turned. She has no idea. Now watch, I'll touch her. I don't know she's done doing it. Usually she freaks out. I don't know. If she would make an ultimate cat because, uh, but she does nothing. That's all she does is sit around like this. I think I'm going to be having a handicapped duck, uh, a handicapped roasted duck here soon. And I just, I can't, uh, like it's, like she gets, and her limbs back. I uh, sprayed her so I can see her real easy. Here we'll put her in the water. Come on, duck. All right, everybody else, get out of the tub. Yeah, she doesn't even have a clue what to do in the bathtub. Well, I don't know. 
be honest with you, I'm I'm actually even afraid to eat her. I don't know. I'm uh, I've got uh, because she's not right. I don't know if it's a sickness, you know, or if it's just a uh, if she's got something just wrong with her. Um, but I got a I, I don't know. I don't know if I want to eat her. I, I just don't know and. Uh, and she's pretty good size, not really big, you know, it was actually, she's really a small snack. Okay, most bizarre thing, I just watched her go back into the tub, and she, she, she literally dived in and tried to go straight through the end of the tub. And now she's stuck back at this end. Like, I, I couldn't believe it, I watched her and it was like, uh, it was bizarre. I thought for sure she was trying to like go right through everything the way she was going at it. It was uh, like it was like she was hell bent. Uh, she was standing on the edge of the tub, and then it was like she took a run at it, and uh, you know, and then she hit the water, and she had so much force that she almost shot herself out the end of the tub. And now she's stuck at the end here, and she doesn't know what to do. I think she's completely blind. It's the only thing that makes any sense. Are you completely blind? I wonder how long you'd last at the lake. doesn't get it. She keeps trying to come through this end. I'm going to be keeping a close eye on this duck. I got a, I don't know what I'm going to do. Like I said, I don't, I don't want to eat it. I, I got a bad feeling. I just don't. Uh, ducks that aren't right, uh, I, I, I'll opt out of those kind of meals.